Hello and happy holidays. As a responsible adult, I woke up at like, what, 4 a.m. and I opened up my mobile device. And I found out that Ace Awakening Chaos Era has unlocked or well opened up an event for us for the winter season called the Winter Festival. Which, if you didn't know, we're going to be challenging a dragon. Which I only tried one challenge of it so far and it was really quick. Highest damage 40k. I could have done way better, but I just wanted to see how it worked and what how much uh, gingerbread you get back. Which I claimed another one, so we got 100 here. But the higher you do, the more rewards you get. Obviously, you can challenge it three times per day. They reset every eight hours, so the sooner you get on, the sooner you know it'll start recharging. At least use one, and then you go about your business. But you're gonna want to stay on top of this for sure, because the rewards are pretty gnarly. The uh, season pass, new season pass, pretty nice. We got Tia. I like her a lot more than the uh, Druid from the last one. Because, you know, waifu, booba, nice. Uh, Winter's Quest, we're going to have the seven day login, kind of like the rookie event. Uh, rookie event, yeah. Same, and Yolanda was a seven day. So expect, like, if you get to day three and you haven't been able to log in, you can still backtrack to day one and finish day one. And it is also to be mentioned that this will be going until the 5th of January, which is nice. So you still have a little bit of wiggle room. Now look at the market real quick. We're able to unlock the Epic Legendary Summon. We can only get one of them, but that's more than generous enough. A 5-star pumpkin, which is great. And then some a set of 6-star gear for Warrior, which is 15% attack. That's That's pretty good. Honestly, a six-star set with decent rolls here. Not bad by any means. We get the five summoning crystals, the ten charms, the foodies. I'm assuming as long as you are active throughout the event and you are capping, you are able to get all the limit ones. I'm not going to swear by it, but I, anyways, the order that I'm going to be going in is I am going to first be prioritizing the ancient summoning crystal, followed by the pumpkin, Followed by the uh, advanced summoning crystals, and then probably special gear, and then foodie, and then the gear. The gear is 1,000 gingerbreads each, which it's definitely worth it, but if I do fall short, it's not as exciting to get gear for me as it would be to get pulls or to, you know, get up another character or just be able to level the gear that we unlock over time. There's these also for like leftovers or just if we're able to get past the amount that we are, um, that are the limits. I would wait on buying these until after you've done the, the limit buying, which is obvious for most people. But just in case, you know, you're looking and you're like, oh, maybe I should get the wood, wood obsidian. I'm one short. Sure. Maybe if you're one short or something, but don't over invest in these because you're going to be, uh, Kick yourself in the ass later when you're looking at these later. Uh, for the shop, the gold shop, we've already bought out today. But the holiday, the event looks pretty nice, honestly. Three per day with the jellies, the gingerbreads, and uh, from what I can tell where it says here, you can get 250 from Adventure and Dungeon, which is separate from the event one, so it'd be... What, 550 per day from challenging the dragon, doing dungeons and whatnot. And then the daily ones. So I'm pretty sure we can clear out the shop. Anyways, I hope that you are safe. You are having a great holiday. You're enjoying it with your family or your friends. And if not, well, I'm here for you. And, you know, stay frosty out there. Take care, guys. Enjoy it.